Hello friends, welcome to take two for this Monday, the 20th of July, 2020. I'm Jeannie, I'm so glad you decided to come along for the ride today. Well, I was watching TV this weekend and there was an advertisement on television for an investing company or financial management or something like that, and I wasn't really paying much attention to it, but I did take particular uh, 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 notice of the tagline at the end of the ad, and the announcer said something to the effect of, because we believe your money should be uh, your tool, not your goal. And I thought, wow, isn't that something? Because so many people are so focused on one day I'm going to be rich, 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 and they don't care what they have to do to get there, even if it's lying, cheating, and stealing, because their goal is money, not the tool. And I thought, wow, isn't that true that uh, there are a lot of things in our lives that they should be tools that we use, but rather we use it as a goal. Like, stay with me for just a second here. Think about this. What about one day I'm going to find that, that perfect person who I'm going to be in love with and everything will be great and we'll live happily ever after. My goal is to have that true love. So what do you do to get to that true love? You work in opposition and in, in contrast and contradiction to that uh, by letting your tools be stepping on people, maybe even uh, uh, going after somebody who's in a relationship with somebody else, all because your goal is to have that perfect love at the end. But what are you doing? You're not operating in love, which should be your tool. See, how do you expect to get your, your goal to your goal unless the tool is in harmony with that goal? For example, say you uh, say your great goal one day is to be a well-respected restaurant owner, chef, famous person, maybe even have a television show, that kind of thing. So what do you do? Well, the right thing to do would be to be respectful on your way up to that place and on your journey to owning your own place, being a great chef, a well-respected person. You know, a lot of times people who are in places of authority are not there because they're respected, but rather because they're feared. That's not a good way to be in a place of importance or leadership. So if you want to get to a place where uh, a, a goal, a real true good positive goal of something, let your tools be in harmony with that goal. You know, that restaurant owner, before you become that respected restaurant owner, maybe you have to wash dishes. Maybe you have to be a busboy. Maybe you have to do other things, clean the toilets in the restaurant. Maybe you have to do all those things in a respectful way in order to get to a place where one day you are respected. So think about it, boys and girls. What is your goal and what is the tool or tools that you use to get to your goal? Don't confuse the two. Remember, it's like that ad said, we believe that your finances, your money should be your tool, not your goal. And I'll tell you what, when you get to that place and you are comfortable with your money or you have that, that business, you have, or you found your true love and are living happily ever after or, or something like that anyway, remember. How did I get there? Did I get there by lighting, cheating, stealing, doing all kinds of uh, uh, bad things to get there? Or did I get there because I used the right tools in order to meet my goal? So give that a thought all week long. Tools and goals. What are your tools and what are your goals? All right. Now, don't forget to go out and be a blessing to somebody. Today, you may end up being the only one who is. Wow, being a blessing to somebody. What kind of a great tool is that? You know what? Because then it'll come around back to you and you'll be blessed. I promise you. Okay, don't forget to also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler. J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. 
I will notify you every time I post another take two. Have a superb and marvelous week, everybody. And a day early, I'd like to wish a happy, happy, happy birthday to two precious girlfriends of mine. Uh, Michelle Michelle, who's turning the big 7-0 tomorrow, and my really good singing pal Edie, uh, a Berglund who is going to be the last year of her 40s and she's 49 tomorrow so we've got two birthdays two special friends. So birthday blessings ladies. I love you both very much. Y'all take care. I'll see you on Wednesday for hump day. So God bless. I love you. Bye bye.